Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you all are doing well. I am Hiba Wafar and in this video I will give you overview of chapter number 3 Hypodynamic Disorders, Thromboembolytic uh, Disease and the Shock. So first of all you should know about the definition of edema and effluents. And then uh, you should know about the pathophysiological categories of edema. This is important for the SEQ point of view. You should know about all the points in case hydrostatic pressure, reduced plasma osmotic pressure, lymphatic obstruction, and then we have the inflammation. You should know about this table. And then figure 4.2, it is important for the SEQ point of view, mechanism of systemic edema. And then you just need to do the definition of hyperemia and congestion. And then this is important for the SEQ point of view, hemostasis, definition, and all these points. Just read the topic of the platelets. Not so important for the SEQ point of view. And then this diagram is important, uh, platelet adhesion and aggregation. This is very much important for the SEQ point of view. It means these definitions often come in the uh, MCQs, these three deficiencies. And then this is important for the SEQ point of view, role of thrombin in the hemostasis and cellular activation. And then we have the most important topic of this chapter, thrombosis. You should know about the endothelial injury and this uh, figure is very much important. We should try it in thrombosis. It is very much important for the SEQ point of view. And then we have the hypercoagulable states. These all points are also important for the SEQ point of view. And then we have the antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. Just go through this topic. And yeah, th this is important. Difference between the um, arterial thrombi and the uh, venous thrombi. This is important for the SEQ point of view. And then we have the postmortem clots and known bacterial thrombotic endocarditis. This is also important. And these mural thrombi. This is very much important. This morphology topic is very much important for the SEQ point of view. Then we have the fate of thrombus. This is also important for the SEQ point of view. You should write the differences between them like this. And then we have the embolism. And this is just important for the MCQ's point of view. Um, means pulmonary embolism, systemic thromboembolism air embolism and then um, you just need to do the definition of infarction and then uh, difference between them comes red infarcts and then then we have the white this is important for the SEQ point of view and then we have the factors uh, that influence the development of an infarct um, this is also important then shock this is very much important for the SEQ point of view. Three major types of the shock, cardiogenic, hypovolemic, and shock associated with the systemic inflammation. This is very much important for the SEQ point of view. And then we have this uh, microbial products. This is very much important for the SEQ point of view. Just need to do this uh, figure, no need to do whole theory. And then we have the stages of shock. This is important for the SEQ point of view. You should know about all the three stages, non-progressive phase, progressive phase, and irreversible stage. And yeah, this is all about chapter number three, hemodynamics and the shock. So I hope you guys will find this video useful. Uh, kindly subscribe to my channel and give it up a thumbs up. Jazakallah, Allah Hafiz.